All right, now take a look at this check. It is a copy of a completely real check that's been turned into a complete fake. But would you be able to spot it? It's counterfeit with a new twist. A technique thieves are using to turn ordinary cashier's checks into any amount they want. 7 Action News reporter Kiara Hay spoke with a small business owner who fell victim to the tune of $10,000. It's called check washing. A person walks in with a real cashier check and chemically removes the dollar amount, replacing it with a larger dollar amount. It happened here at Honda Suzuki of Warren where someone walked in with a $10 cashier check, but they walked out with a brand new ATV. It was a four-wheeler, uh, just like this one. Brian Rowland says he got got. Criminals are getting smarter and smarter. Rowland owns Honda Suzuki in Warren. Last week, he says a man purchased an ATV with the $9,500 cashier's check. Per protocol, they made sure it was watermarked and the routing number matched the bank. Everything was clear, but when they tried to cash it in, the check bounced. It was a real check that they got from a real bank, so there was no way for anybody to know that it was fake. Roland was the victim of check washing, a scam where a person replaces the dollar amount on a real check, making it nearly impossible to spot a fake. We get taken for 10 grand. <laughs> How do you feel? It's terrible. $10,000 could hurt a small business. Uh, I mean, that could put somebody out of business if they're not in a position to be able to account for that. And the scheme is spreading. Roland says another motorsport store owner was almost the victim of check washing, but he was alerted by a Zeal Credit Union representative before the transaction. Roland's bounce check was also from Zeal. When I called them, the lady literally said, uh, We've had a rash of these coming out of this bank. We reached out to Zeal and a spokesperson says they are aware of the scam, but would not specify how often their checks are being washed. So how can a business or person protect themselves? You know, make sure you have insurance. Ashley Gibbard with the Better Business Bureau admits the scam is hard to spot. So insurance can help recoup some of the lost money. She also suggests reporting the incident to the Better Business Bureau and the Attorney General's office so other businesses will know to be on high alert. We reached out to Warren Police, who says despite having the suspect's identity, it could be a while before he's charged. And it's both likely and common that the suspect will hit up other businesses before he's caught. But if convicted, that person could face up to five years behind bars. In Southfield, Kiara Hay, 7 Action News. Such 